Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and basically this is going to be a quick EDC update. Uh, we're coming to the end of the month of March 2012 so I wanted to show you guys what I've been carrying around lately. Uh, some of the things do stay the same. I do rotate certain things in and out so that's why you know we always like to put out these videos so you can kind of keep abreast as, as far as what we're, what we're carrying and whatnot. So let me go through the uh, the stuff that doesn't really change. First is going to be my wallet. This is the Maxpedition micro wallet, I believe it's called. Really awesome wallet. I've been carrying this for over a year and it's still going strong. It fits a lot of stuff, but it keeps a very slim profile. A lot of the guys here on YouTube and uh, and gals too that that have gone to this wallet, you know, you can see that they, they really like it. So that's, uh, you know, that what the, one of the reasons I picked it up was I actually saw a video on it. I wanted to check it out and I haven't gone back since. So that's my wallet there. Car keys are pretty much the same. The only thing is I did take off some of the keys that I wasn't using. I just felt that it, it was an unnecessary bulk on there. So I just left my car keys. I got my mail key on there and then a Swiss Army Knife Classic really really awesome little tool it's good to have on the keys and then uh, just a regular paracord lanyard on there so it makes it a very uh, minimal form factor especially in the pocket as far as my watch goes i've been carrying this luminox i don't know exactly what model it is but basically the band broke on it so what i did is i just put a uh, paracord uh, band on there so just your standard uh, black paracord it's really comfortable and with the buckle it makes it really easy to put on and off you know it, it is a king cobra so you get a little bit more paracord in there so if you had to use it you always have that available but it's also very lightweight which is what i liked about it and then just a, a standard uh, paracord bracelet this one is a camouflage color with a yellow ribbon for support of the troops this is one of those things that sometimes you know i'll I add something else to you know either this one plus another one or i'll switch the paracord so that's one of the things that actually switch is on a daily basis as far as uh, tools I have this pen right here this is a zebra telescoping pen so this is the small form factor there it fits in your pocket really nice uh, if you want to drop it in there or if you want to clip it and then when you need to use it all you have to do is just pull on it and then it becomes a full-size pen which is really nice the tip actually comes out when you go to use it and then when you push it back to close it retracts back into there so if you do have it in the pocket it's not going to write or anything like that so that's really cool as far as lights go uh, i'm still carrying my 511 atac plx this is the pen light form factor really really nice uh, 69 lumens uh, basically you get the constant on and that's pretty much it you also have the momentary if you do just lightly press the back so that's really nice one thing that i did like about this particular light that was one of my um, cons on the streamlight versions of something like this is the tail cap, tail cap switch it's actually a lot easier to actuate because it does protrude a little bit the uh, streamlight ones are kind of flat so when you do have to actuate it to leave it on you have to physically press into it with your thumb as opposed to just using the pad of your thumb to be able to do that. So that's one of the uh, the plus that this light has over the stream light. So if you haven't checked it out, you know, I would definitely recommend it. Go ahead and check it out. All right, by uh, way of uh, blades, um, this is the Ladybug and this is in the ZDP 189 steel. Really, really awesome little knife. Uh, you know, it, it definitely doesn't attract attention or anything like that. It's got a small little lanyard on there. I just use it to give me a little bit more purchase, you know, as far as the, uh, give me more, more of my fingers wrapping around it so it's more comfortable. I can also uh, fit my pinky into there. So if I'm doing something and it were to fall, I'm not going to lose it and I can just grab it right and use it again. So, you know, the Ladybug has become one of those staple things that a lot of knife users uh rely on as a secondary or tertiary blade so uh, if you don't have one of these and you're a knife guy i would definitely recommend checking it out i've been uh carrying this uh this is the gerber clutch it's a uh mini um multi-tool i'm not really big on carrying multi-tools but it's one of those things that i i you know keep on coming back to and stuff like that and what i really like about the clutch is that the the pliers are actually spring-loaded, so that's really good uh, because sometimes you find that in the smaller multi-tools, what you're going to want to do is more precise things like you know pulling some, you know pulling a thorn out or or uh, you know maybe picking up a, a small screw or something like that. So that uh, the fact that it is um, spring-loaded, it, it helps out a lot. And then this particular one has uh, some really some really cool tools. You know, you have your screwdrivers and you have your blade. 
um, you have your file, but it also has uh, some tweezers on it. So that's really cool. You know, it, it has a little bit of extra features on there that you can definitely f find using on a daily basis. So that's good. My primary blade is the Kershaw Breakout Automatic. I've been you know carrying this off and on for since I since I got it over a year ago and it's still going strong I mean I play with this thing all the time and you know a lot of people that have it have complained about the spring maybe loosening up or uh, you know the uh, the automatic button doesn't actuate anymore or something like that luckily I haven't had any issues on mine I know this model is already discontinued so I have been looking for more uh, I this is the, the kind of like the dark blue navy color, so I want to get my hands on probably a black one, and uh, you know maybe put it away so in case something were to happen to this one. But for the most part, this one is still going strong. It's got that stone wash blade, so it's really really cool, and uh, it takes an edge really really nice. Very very thin form factor, thin profile. So in the pocket you can barely see it. So this is a it's a great everyday carry knife. Uh, also, I always forget to, to show these, but you know my my glasses. Obviously, I'm always carrying Oakleys, and um, it changes on a daily basis just based on my mood. Uh, today, I just happen to have been wearing these. These are the uh, Oakley original racing jackets. So, uh, if you guys don't know, these do not have any hinges, so they don't close. Uh, what that does is it makes it really comfortable and a lot more lightweight. Especially because this is such an aggressive frame. I mean, this frame was uh, originally designed for mountain biking. That's why you see the uh, the holes on there. What that does is it allows for constant airflow so the lenses don't fog. But they also have holes on the frame. So it actually uh, keeps the frame cool. You know, it catches the air and keeps your, your head cool around the frame. You know, with the rubber on the sides. It grips really nice and on the nose also. So a uh, really cool, uh, awesome little, you know, kind of everyday pair. And last but not least is my firearm. I've been carrying the uh, Glock 23, chambered and forward caliber. Uh, I showed this uh, a couple of videos ago, and I had some questions about the finish. This is uh, the same gun that I had shown a, uh, a while back in blue carbon fiber. I just had, uh, you know, I just changed my mind about the blue or, you know, just wanted to test some other things. So I gave it back to my buddy at Chameleon Hydrographics, and he... Basically, uh, re-graphicked it, I guess would be the right term. So it, this is, uh, it's kind of a, um, almost like a reptilian carbon fiber. It's um, it's a mix between gold and OD green. I know it comes out a little bit more goldish in the in the camera. And then, you know, you have just the, uh, the black right here all the way through. So it's really, really nice. It came out really cool. The uh, obviously, if you guys you know have been following my channel, you know that I normally carry a Sig P238. So this is a little bit of a of a bump up from that, you know, as far as size and caliber and all that. So I just wanted to to kind of give it a try. I'm an inside the waistband man myself, but you know, obviously, this is a little big to carry inside the waist. So I've been carrying outside the waist, and I've been using the uh, CX2 Ultimate Concealment Holster. Uh, this is done by. Um, Arm Civilian 556. He's a fellow YouTuber here, and uh, you know it's great. I've been using this for about two and a half weeks, and it's uh, it's pretty much one of the most comfortable holsters I've had. You know, it 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 sits really really nice to the really close to the body, really comfortable, and you know the retention is really good on the gun. You know, it snaps in there really nicely, and then when you need it, you can pull it out. Now, one thing I did want to mention about these holsters, uh, and about um, AC Arm Civilian 556. When I originally got the holster, for my liking, uh, it was a little bit too tight, so it was very difficult for me to uh, draw the gun in the particular way that I was wearing it. So I actually sent it back to him, and he fixed that, and now it, it works, you know, perfectly. I, I mean, I don't have any problems drawing the gun and, you know, it, and, and reholstering it whenever I need to. So, you know, it's one of those things where uh, uh, customer service and support, you know, standing behind the product is definitely a big thing. So if you guys are looking for, for a good, affordable, great holster, definitely check out check them out, Arm Civilian 556. So that is my EDC, again, for, you know, part of the month of March uh, 2012. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.